Welcome to Angel Health Academy. Topic for the day is 5 year plans in India part 2. In the part 1 video, I have explained in depth and in detail about 5 year plans in India and I have also explained about the first 5 year plan. If you are not watched that particular video, please watch the video and you can continue with the second 5 year plan in India in this part 2. So second 5 year plan in India. The duration is 1956 to 1961. So under the chairmanship of uh, or under the leadership of Jawaharlal Nehru, the government of India started a second five-year plan from 1956 onwards. So the period was 1956 to 61. So it was made for the duration of 1956 to 61, that is five years, under the leadership of our former Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru. Then objectives of second five-year plan. The first objective was development of industry. Development of industry, especially heavy industries in India. Development of heavy industries. The second objective of second five-year plan was manufacturing the industrial goods in the nation or in the country. Manufacturing industrial goods to the country or in the country. Third objective is thus to develop the public sector in the country. Develop the or development of the public sectors. So, the important three objectives of second five-year plan was development of industry that is heavy industries in India, manufacturing various industrial goods in the country or in the nation and the last one is to develop the or develop the public sector in the nation. The second five-year plan was also known as Mahala Nobis plan. That is Mahala Nobis plan. As it was, the second five-year plan was based on the Mahala Nobis model. So, the second five-year plan was based on the Mahala Nobis model. This model is pertaining to the economic development which is made by or propounded by the famous statistician Professor Prasanna Chandra Mahala Nobis, P.C. Mahala Nobis in 1953. So, second five-year plan is based on the model that is Mahalanobis plan which was made by the PC Mahalanobis or, or Prasanna Chandra Mahalanobis in 1953. This model is focused on economic development of the country. This model is purely focused on the economic development. That means the maximum allocation of investment between the productive sectors. So, maximum investment on the goods or between the productive sectors in order to maximize the uh, economic growth of the country, in order to maximize the a long term or long run economic growth of the country. Thus, second five year plan was based on the Mahalanobis model. Now, let us see the what was the focus of second five year plan. We already said that it was based on the Mahalanobis model that is for the economic development or industrial development. Thus, in second five-year plan, our emphasis was shifted or basic emphasis of agriculture shifted to industry. Thus, the main focus of second five-year plan was industrial development. That is industrial development of the country. That is rapid industrialization in the country. Rapid industrialization. So, the main focus of second five-year plan is rapid industrialization or industrial development. Next is the priorities of second five year plan. The priorities are based on the rapid industrialization or industrial development of the country. So because of that I have made a small mnemonic that is drastic and highly secret tricks in industrial development. So you can think like that government of India made drastic and highly secret tricks to develop the industry in India. That is a mnemonic drastic and highly secret tricks in industrial development. Let us expand this mnemonic. D stands for development of heavy industries. Then R stands for development of railway lines, especially northeast railway lines, construction of railway lines. Then A stands for Atomic Energy Commission establishment, formation of Atomic Energy Commission. Then S stands for steel plants or mills, development of various important, five important steel plants or mills in India. Then T stands for Tata Institute of Fundamental Research Formation, Tata Institute of Fundamental Research Establishment. Then I stands for importing, that is import through foreign loans or imports by foreign loans. Then C stands for coal production, production of coal for the industrial Purpose. So, coal production. 
and and stands for that is though the emphasis was shifted to industrial development the agricultural uh, that focus also uh, be continue as a part of the economic growth of the country that is n stands for agriculture then highly stands for hydroelectric power plants establishment so highly stands for hydroelectric power plants formation or establishment then secret stands for social and community services so in all the plan we have a social and community services for the development of the both urban and rural people the secret stands for social and community services so the mnemonic that is tricks could be comes under social and community services so i'll explain later when i explain in detail about the social and community services uh, i will expand the tricks because the tricks are the priority which is uh, comes under social and community services in india let us explain in detail about the priorities of second five year plan based on this mnemonic the first priority was development of heavy industries in the country so heavy industries comprise or includes heavy engineering industries machine tool industries heavy electrical industry industrial machinery and auto industries so heavy industry will produce the goods that is necessary for all the public sector development so the development of heavy industry is the first priority in the second five year plan second is development of or construction of railway lines on the northeast so northeast railway lines construction that is the second priority in the second five year plan third is formation of atomic energy commission or establishment of atomic energy commission though it was started in august 10th 1948 in india it was expanded uh, along with the industrialization that is atomic energy commission the first chairman for the atomic energy commission was dr homi j baba atomic energy commission helps to manage the development use and control of atomic energy or nuclear energy for the military and the civilian applications so that is the third priority of the second five year plan that is atomic energy commission development the fourth priority was steel plants development of various uh, five important steel plants in that which includes bilai steel plant then durgapur steel plant roorkela steel plant jamshedpur steel plant etc these all the important major steel plants were developed during the second five year plan as part of the heavy industries the bilai steel plant was constructed in india or started in india with the cooperation with the cooperation of russia and durgapur industry constructed or started in india with the cooperation of the britain government and roorkela industry developed or constructed in india with the cooperation of germany these are the some of the major steel plants developed during the second five year plan in india the fifth priority was development of tata institute of fundamental research in mumbai or bombay development of tata institute of fundamental research in mumbai it gives the opportunity to conduct the basic research especially in mathematics and sciences so development of the tata institute of fundamental research in mumbai that was the fifth priority of second five year plan then the sixth priorities of second five year plan was imports through foreign loans so importing the various commodities or products or goods for the industrial development by hiring a loans from the foreign countries that is through foreign loans so government of india advocated huge imports or importing through foreign loans from the different or alien countries that is about the imports through foreign loans the next is the production of coal in the country production of coal for the industrial purpose increasing the production of coal for the industrial purpose this is a seventh priority in the second five year plan that is coal production though the emphasis are shifted from agriculture to industrialization in the second five year plan government of india continuing that uh, the process of development of agriculture so eighth priority was agriculture then the ninth priority is hydroelectric power plants so construction of various hydro electric power plants to produce the electricity that is necessary for the industrial development or for the industry so hydro electric power plants formation or establishment in india that was the ninth priority in the second five year plan the last tenth one is social and community services social and community services let us see what are the social and community services during the second five year plan for the development of the both urban and rural population in india 
So, we can continue the mnemonic that is TRICKS. T stands for Technical Manpower, R stands for Rural Institutions, I stands for Institution Facilities for Urban Population in India, C stands for Communicable Disease Control or Control of Communicable Various Communicable Diseases in India, then last S stands for Safe Water Supply and Basic Sanitation. So, this is the continuation of the the former or first five year plan that is safe water supply and, and basic sanitation. Let us explain in detail about the what are the social and community services priority in the second five year plan. So, the first one is technical manpower, development of the various technical manpower or technical workers for the industry to render the service in the industry. So, technical education is important at various levels like diploma level, degree level and uh, other postgraduate program level. So, technical manpower development is the first priority under social and community services in the second five year plan. Then development of rural institutions. So during second five year plan, that is 2nd October 1959, Government of India started a Panjaiti Daj system in India at Nagur Rajasthan in India. So, during 1959, that is October 2nd, 1959, Government of India introduced the Panjaiti Raj system for the rural development as rural institution. That was first started in Nagur, Rajasthan in India. The third priority was institutional facility for urban population in India. So, Government of India also trying to develop the urban population for rendering various health related services through uh, institutional facilities or existing health system or health infrastructure in the country. So, the third priority was institutional facilities for the urban population. The fourth priority under social and community services are communicable disease control, control of various communicable diseases in the country or in the nation that is communicable disease control. The last one is safe water supply and basic sanitation for the especially for the rural people and both rural and urban people or to cover the complete village. So, safe water supply and basic sanitation this is the continuation of the uh, community services or social and community services from the first five year plan to second five year plan that is safe water supply and sanitation. In addition to that during the second five year plan government of India introduced a or appointed various committees to, to make the survey in the country and give certain recommendation in relation to the priority thus to improve the national health plan and health services in India. The committees were appointed. First one is Mehta Committee in 1957, Mudaliyar Committee in 1959 and Renugarai Rai Committee in 1960. So, these were the important health committees, health planning committees were appointed during the period of second five year plan that is between 1956 to 61. Mehta Committee, Mudaliyar Committee and Renugarai Rai Committee. I have been already uploaded a video about the major health committees in or health committees in India. If you want to know more about the health committees, you can refer and you can watch that particular video. Then during the second five year plan, the prices, rate of the prices or prices for the commodity or basic needs were increased. So, for prices for the goods were increased by 30 percentage, maximum 30 percentage. That was against the decline that was a we have achieved during the first five year plan that was 13 percentage. So, during first five year plan we have uh, tried to decline the increased prices for the commodity that up to 13 percentage. But unfortunately during the second five year plan this price again increased for 30 percentage. So, during this plan prices increased by 30 percentage against a decline of 13 percentage which occurred during the first five year plan. Actually the annual growth target of GDP gross domestic product uh, per year was set for the second five year plan was 4.5 percentage per year. Unfortunately, we have achieved annual growth rate at the end of the second five year plan or every year of the second five year plan that is only 4.27 percentage per year or each year. As the annual growth rate achieved was less than the annual growth target of GDP, uh, this uh, five year plan, second five year plan is not so successful. However, this plan was criticized by many experts and as a result India faced a payment crisis that is as the price increased and India faced a payment crisis in the year of 1957. So, let us summarize the second five year plan in India. So, summary of second five year plan in India. The period of second five year plan was 1956 to 1961. 
that is the second five year plan the prime minister during that period was jawaharlal nehru as i already said jawaharlal nehru was the president for the or the chairman for the first second and third five year plans in india then the model was used in this second five year plan was pc mahalanobis model that is for the industrial development that is pc mahalanobis model that is for industrial development that is for industrial development of the country the focus was shifted from the agricultural development to industrial development based on that the priorities was drastic and highly secret tricks in industrial development so this stands for development of heavy industries railway line especially in the northeast line atomic energy commission formation or expansion steel major steel plants or mills uh, construction then tata institute of fundamental research formation import through foreign loans or importing by foreign loans coal production increased coal production in the country agriculture hydroelectric power plants of formation and expansion then social and community services which includes tricks technical manpower development rural institutional development that is panchayati raj development then institution facilities for the urban population in india then communicable disease control safe water supply and basic sanitation the average annual growth target was 4.5 percentage but at the end of the five year plan second five year plan we have achieved annual growth achieved only 4.27 percentage thus the second five year plan was not so successful it was failed it couldn't achieve the target which was set which had set as 4.5 percentage this is about a second five year plan in india so thanks for watching hope this video really benefits in your studies and exams and other competitive exams so if you feel it is worth and benefits please like share and subscribe my channel and stay tuned with the angel health academy for the continuation of the next part of the video of five year plans in india thank you